Today, we're taking a closer look at the synth sounds of Blade Runner. All right, so today we're taking a closer look at some of the classic sounds of the soundtrack to Blade Runner, crafted by legendary composer Vangelis. It was really a breakthrough for its time, and one of the instruments that Vangelis really uh, is known for and, and really utilized to a great extent is the Yamaha CS80 synthesizer. If you know about the Yamaha CS80, you know that it's the granddaddy of them all. It's huge. It's old at this point. They break down. The legend is that Vangelis had seven of them <laughs> in his studio because he could only keep one running at a time. So what we wanted to do was really just focus on how to recreate some of those classic sounds on a range of vintage hardware, maybe some newer stuff, as well as with a plugin that recreates the Yamaha CS80 exactly. And then even further, if you don't have access to that plugin, how to do it with some of the included sounds in Ableton. Basically, what we've got going on here is, again, it's a polyphonic synth, so you can play multiple notes at the same time. We've only dialed in just a basic saw wave. And a saw wave, if you're looking to make a brass sound, looking to make a string sound, start with your saw wave and go from there. So we've set both of the oscillators to saw waves, and they're slightly detuned. And what that means is that essentially you've got two different sounds that are playing basically the same note, but they're, but they're not quite perfect, which really replicates like if you've got a, a string quartet all playing, you're sort of replicating that human um, imperfection that makes it sound so lively. The, the primary arrangement here is in the string sounds. And what we've got here is there is a, uh, a top melody being played by both a uh, string patch as well as, again, the Arturia uh, CS80. The two of those are working together. And then underneath that, we've got our big uh, descending chord progression. Again, all on strings, all using built-in instruments. I'm going to take out the strings. Cool, I'm going to bring the strings back in and take out the Yamaha CS80. And then finally bring them all back together. The way we've set this up, the string sounds are really carrying the high end and the, the CS80 is really carrying the low end. And then on the top strings, this is just a built-in Ableton patch called VP330 Dark Strings. Now here we're using a patch that uh, draws inspiration from the Roland RS09 string synth, which was a synthesizer. So this is gonna sound a little bit more synthy. And then underneath that, is this just beautiful, haunting uh, choir sound. To create this voice, again, all we've done is we've tweaked uh, a preset in Ableton called Spacious Choir, which is actually an, an analog synth patch that has been designed to, to, to essentially create a very mellow, um, vocal-esque quality here. A little bit of chorus on that. It's the 80s, everything had chorus on it. Uh, but <laughs> actually, it turns out when you put chorus on a choir sound, it really, makes it sound like there's even more voices singing. And then you put those two things together. We've got one of the brand new Roland Boutique uh, SH01As here in the office. Super cool bass line synth. And what I love the most about this as well as the original is it has a built-in sequencer so you can just quickly program in some notes and recreate these types of sequences. There you go. Okay, so if you don't have uh, a synthesizer with the sequencer built in, you can still recreate all of this by writing those same four notes into your DAW of choice. So we pulled up a patch called Pure Buzzy Bass, which is a single sawtooth wave. Here we added a little bit of bit reduction, which uh, simulates 
um, an old school recording gear that uh, had a had a 12-bit rate, which gives it a little bit more crunch. Okay, so we stripped it all the way down to the drum beat here. This is a very, very simple drum pattern that is triggering a set of Roland TR-606 drum samples. It's the most lo-fi, in my mind, of the original 808, 909, 606, uh, and I think it fits really, really nicely. When you overlay this kabasa sound, you instantly, that, that to me is one of the most identifiable motifs in this entire soundtrack. All this is is a kabasa sample with some reverb and a little bit of delay. Put them together, always sounds great. So we're starting to stack up the percussion layers here, and in a second you're gonna hear one of the my favorite parts of the entire song. It's a huge timpani drum. Now I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure that was recorded. Uh, we actually used a stock timpani sound uh, built into Ableton with just a little bit of tuning uh, on the sample itself to, to make it sound a little bit lower. Stock built right in, a little bit of reverb, sounds huge. I love this sound. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole soundtrack. Uh, what we did here, this is a harp. Again, built in, recorded, harp sound. We wanted to bring back sort of synthetic aspect um, of the original soundtrack. So we played with this actually a couple of different ways. And ultimately what we found worked the best, uh, after a lot of trial and error, was to just put a flanger on it, <laughs> of all things. And the flanging is timed so you get that flange sweep that's actually perfectly timed with the pitch of the harp. Blade Runner is really, really special to me and, and it's been a real honor to explore some of these sounds and, and share them with you. I, I, I hope that you are inspired. Uh, check out the new movie and uh, check out more on Reverb. Thanks.